I am still far from flawless I still make mistakes I've done things that I'm not proud of But I will never stop trying to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday Growth is the new gangster Stay at the cage THC revamp. I want to say a big shout outs to our sponsors, Illegal Merchandise, Fly Little Birdie and BattleRap.au. On my left, all the way from Adelaide, we've got Decay! Yeah. 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 And on my right, we've got Burn Z. Give it up! Yeah. Yeah. These guys have already decided who's going to go first. It's going to be the first round on Burn Z. Everyone show some respect. Let's go! Yeah, make some noise for yourself! Come on! Alright, now I go by the name of Burnsy. And I'm here to open up the car like it's my B day. Here to body this bitch called DK. Real's time to keep it quick like a speed date. So it's pressure from the jump, no leeway. Cause DK, I heard you got a girl and she's great. Different from the rest is what he's saying. She been shared with more rappers than a beat tape. <laughs> no stings, bro. You might need an antihistamine. The way she felt burn all in her mouth like Listerine. Mm. By the kids just mean, I'm a skull fucker. Bars go over your head, I'm a skull crusher. Skull crusher cause I'm bone cracking. Toe tagging in the zone rapping. Man, I'm an all star at everything. Bo Jackson. Mm. For show. Yes, for show snapping. My flow low, call with the low jab and I'm so savage. Don't give a single fuck about this so-so cap until do gag and Bill Bo baggins. He'll go back and pack his bags. He go damaged to go backwards to Adelaide. You're out of date, powder, break powder face. Woo! Stop sticking up the stage, go home and have a shower, mate. I'm just trying to show you today that there's a difference between what I say and what he say. From A grade to D grade, from Burnsy to DK. Look, if you came where we stay, there's no way you'd leave, mate. We'd kill all your boys, we can turn this to D-Day. One punch at the mouth, and we'll see your teeth break, live up to your name, and we'll see you DK. Woo! You may think it's better, let DK tell you. But I got what he done, and that's replay value. Oh. Oh. Make some noise! Yeah. 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 Why they always gotta get me to battle the tall cunts? <laughs> I feel like a victim of workplace harassment. Perhaps I should talk up. <laughs> but listen, you think because I'm battling interstate for the first time that I'm about to take this shit seriously? You'd be damn right. <laughs> nearly. But nearly's don't mean shit to me, clearly. This dickhead battled on Real Talk, spent the whole time talking about Israeli conspiracy theories. So I'm giving up, I'm giving up the first round of my big opportunity just to talk about Greeley. Hey. Yeah, let's go! See, Greeley is one hell of a guy. He has invented every invention since the dawn of time. He gave, great, he gave cavemen fire. He taught 9-11 pilots how to fly and the very first child how to ride a bike. Yeah. I even heard on the grapevine that he painted the design for the ticks on the side of your Nikes. And speaking of Nikes, Greeley hits my phone line saying he's got an opportunity for me. Right, three rounds, 90 seconds each, and you can battle for THC TV. I just need a picture of the front of your credit card and your three-digit CVV. <laughs> I said fuck up, Greeley. I've seen enough fake accounts on my Facebook feed to know you're a quite fake crook, you ain't scamming me. He says, nah, trust me family, everything I'm saying is backed by proof. So fuck it, I called his bluff. I FaceTime him from a private number and guess who picks up? It's just a bunch of Indian dudes packed under a tin roof and in the background I can see Vietnamese kids making his shoes. <laughs> now listen. I'm not the first dickhead to get sent interstate to battle and hit the stage without seeing a hint of change or a sniffle rage or a place of accommodation big enough to fit me and my mates. Let's go! I'm starting to feel a little bit like that guy Dave in a way. But my shit ain't TGD, it ain't even PC nor PG. It's crystal clear like a PNG on a TV screen. And yeah. cunt's got it on repeat like a DVD while I'm leaving bodies in the streets like an IED. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Alright, look, he had a whole, ground, a whole round speaking about Greeley. You fucking loser. <laughs> it's about time I make this depressed looking cunt retire with the blues like Matthew Cruiser. Yeah, buzz, buzz, buzz. Because who the fuck is DK? Don't know. And what does DK even stand for? Don't know. 
<laughs> but bro, <laughs> but if I had three words to describe you, bro, then my best guess, honestly, sex pest probably. <laughs> Little peep wannabe, six feet gonna be. Because you are one weird fucking looking emo cunt. So you can spit violent bars, but bro, I don't believe you can when you're about five foot five and used to have blonde hair as a man. <laughs> so if you talk about the metal, you must be meaning bands, so I wrote a little scheme that the emos might understand. So protect your bride, because life is frail. I might grab a knife and pierce the veil from a yeah. white chapel. Run it back, run it back, uh, run it back. Yeah, run it back. Yeah, run protect back. your bride, because life is frail. I might grab a knife and pierce the veil. From a white chapel to leaving her motionless in white. She can't escape the fate, we leave the ghost inside. Yeah, your special day will be a day to remember in fear and faith. In hearts wake as blood runs black, all that remains for you is self harms like moss to flames. Abandon all ships because there's no silver lining. Try and save your life from a slipknot that is tightening. Leaving traumatized with demons, you'll be fighting. You'll have to listen to the sights like Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah, I can break you down like the veterans do. You ain't never near my level, I ain't stepping to you. So spit your little jokes, gas crew, but I can scheme, I can rap right better than you. Mm. Woo! Nice. It's okay though, cause look, truth be told everyone, even I'm a misfit. Since you're youngin', you've been told that I'm sadistic. You throw a punch and turn you into a statistic and slit your throat with the same razor you cut your wrist with. Forget that hole in your ear or leave a hole in your chest. Knife straight to the ribs and leave you bleeding for death. And judge's book by its cover because I ain't a goody goody. I'll run a man down like McDonald tip and Woody. Time. Alright, so I know my first round got wasted away standing on a stage talking about Greeley. But all I was trying to say is if you have any spare change, please donate it my way because this trip cost me like 20 grand and I saw how touchy-feely Greeley got when he battled Dundee. I don't want him pulling that stunt on me, saying there's other ways I can pay the entry fee. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, this is a mismatch and I should take offence to this. My penmanship is the sickest, your pen methods are shit. You could give me a feather with no ink to dip it in, I'll still rewrite your shit and make it a tighter spit. Or I'll run through where you live and stick that biro tip behind those eyelids. It's a disappearing trick like them Johnny Wick cinema flicks. Ooh. Now listen, we could be twins in parallel. I'll still overload both compressors and close your vocal sessions. I'm collecting respect off of veterans. You're just getting neck off your friends. <laughs> Better yet, I start talking, they start talking less. Fuck brawling, I tell them tie the rope, they supply the neck. I'll lay down your finest line of infantry men playing Simon Says. No rhymes necessary, no violence necessary, just rhymes instead. And this dickhead has one battle on the gauntlet. He spent the whole time talking about Israeli conspiracy theories. The audio was so shit we could barely hear him talking. He was still on Instagram the next week talking about 25 likes trying to flaunt him. I could fucking care less who sees this shit. Can't you see we're different, faggot? There's the end of the stage. When you get to the edge, just keep walking because my career's already left yours left for dead like when Complete did Jordan. Ooh. Now listen, I used to beef with rac rappers. I'd sleep him when I crack him and leave him speaking different. Now I say those things that leave him thinking a little different. I open up the confines of my mind. I learned, went a little bit deeper with it. Now I pack so many multis in my shit. These dumb cunts just think I'm European. Yeah. <laughs> Time. Make some noise! Yeah. 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 You seemed a little nervous that round. I think you should stay calm. I want to know what you've got written on your palm. <laughs> it's rough, I've got it. <laughs> but, uh, let's, let's cut the bullshit for a second, all right? This guy, next week he's supporting Cogs, so let's give him a round of applause, all right? Yeah. Honestly, that shit's amazing. What they do nowadays with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> but look, bro, your first battle was against someone named Oscar the Disciple. Man, we were all made to suffer. So when Abel, it's time to get caned, I'll kill you, brother. And I'm sorry for a cliche bar that I'm about to utter, but Disciple showed you defeat like the Last Supper. See, I fear no man, because they're faking it, bruv. Only been scared of what I'm capable of. Suggest you keep it cool. Don't make me cross. You can meet both hands like we praying to God. Because fuck me! It's a new punching bag of Soap Suds League. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? Do you hand out flyers for him? Do you wash his car? 
you pack in the cone and he smack his ass? Well. <laughs> 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 Did you pack in the cone and smack his ass? Because look, bro, <laughs> to cut all the bullshit, you only got put on because there's a spot to fill. You're only battling me because your cost is nil. As soon as I accepted, you lost for real. So it's time for some life advice on stage like Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. So listen up, because it's time for some enlightenment. So soap, you are nothing more than surplus to requirements. See, soap knows I'm greasy. It'll take more than a scrub to get rid of me. I'll brush this trash aside and call it a clean sweep. You would have got washed at the laundry, but now Footscray's the place to be. Yeah. But fuck it, we got one more scheme, so hopefully you can catch it. Look, it's time to finish him. Power up, I'm a star. My link gave me a crate, it was a weapons bazaar. Grab the super scope, then we're running the drill. Hammer so big that a shoe bullet bills. Blowing cartridges got my start in the game. His heart container shell and reds all that remain. Toss the barrel, hit their legs, we're avoiding the station. Glove on the hand, this stage your final destination. Yeah, beat him on this platform with all my rap flows. Now throw DK off stage like a Super Smash Bros. So he tried implying that I'm only here because of some Make-A-Wish shit. Well, in case you haven't caught it, in my first battle I actually said I'm about as sick as a Make-A-Wish kid. So that only shows I'm about as consistent as it gets and there's no fillers in this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, during the daylight, I'll pack an arsenal of blades, get in your face and end your life if the pay right. At night time, I study arcane magic. I'm reading thesauruses to get the language right. I study from bill collectors on how to keep the paper tight. Now it's a mad flex with the way I write. And it'll be a disaster for you if your life intertwines with mine, because this franchise is filled with fake guys with snake eyes. I keep the bizzo bonded together. I don't need a shoddy. I'm all horror when I'm in an all-black getup. Can't you see it, faggot? I'm the product of legends, and I'm already getting better. And listen, I could be tied up by the most violent ISIS fighters inside of psych asylums. I'll still make it out alive with a giant knife to come terrorise you. It's Halloween every day, but I'm way more terrifying than Michael Myers because I exist outside your mind. And guess what, faggot? I'm right beside you. And I've got these giant scissors tucked. They're big enough to give you and six of your buds the slickest cuts all at once. For an extra 15 bucks, I'll grip the pump. I'll take some off the top and leave a noggin off like old pops at Christmas lunch. Yeah! <laughs> Now listen, you spent your whole first battle talking about conspiracy theories, true? I actually believe all the same things that you do. I delve deep into Reddit to see where the Israelis get their funding for their weapons and nukes. Guess what, dickhead? It's 2023. None of that shit is actually news. Just like the dudes who own the news, puppeteering your every move, poisoning your water and your food. All right? Poisoning your water and your food, withholding your truth. You try speaking out against the truth, they take you out like you decay and you got a rot in your tooth. Even Eminem got replaced with, an with a hologram for speaking his views. Yeah. Yeah. So the only message that I'm hoping I'm getting through to you is, I worry about you, dude. You need to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein didn't jump out of his bed with his neck in a noose. And oh. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein didn't jump out of his bed with a neck in his noose, and neither will you if you keep intentionally upsetting the Jews. Our sponsors, Illegal Merchandise, Fly Little Birdie and BattleRap.au. We on one! Let's yeah. on!